cream day, a perfect Sunday to make a Sunday. I've already dove into the topic Sunday here. Sunday A-Y, Sunday A-E. <laughs> now resort giving Make-A-Wish fam families the vacation of a lifetime is celebrating the holiday with their Scoops of Hope campaign. Here to tell us more is the president and CEO of Give Kids the World of... Or, let me, I'm trying to spit it out here. Give Kids the World <laughs> Village, Pamela Landworth, thank you so much, as well as alumni. This is Charlie, Charlie. and Charlie's mom. Julie, thank you so much for being Hi. with us. Oh, our pleasure. Thanks for inviting us. Oh, okay, so, Pamela, tell us a little bit about, um, you know, why you're, you're celebrating with the Scoops of, of Hope campaign. Certainly, yes. We bring children from all over the world to Central Florida when a child has a life-threatening illness and their wish is to go to Disney Universal or SeaWorld. So one of the favorite things that our 79-acre village is an ice cream palace that's open from 7.30 in the morning till 9.30 at night so kids can have ice cream all day long, every day. A banana split for breakfast. You probably had one of those. <laughs> teenagers are shot in Chicago's Kenwood neighborhood, and a 15-year-old was killed. A 16-year-old boy is recovering at Comer Children's Hospital right now. Laura Podesta is... Laura? Well, Tanya knew this hour we are learning that these two boys may have been brothers. As you mentioned, the 16-year-old recovering here at Comer Children's Hospital. A gunshot wound to the leg is what he is suffering from. The 15-year-old was shot in the head here in the 4700 block of South Ellis around 12.50 a.m. He died on at sea. Now, police will at large any information on that red minivan or the shooter. If you have any of it, police want to hear from you. Reporting live from Comer Children's Hospital, Laura Podesta, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Convention begins tomorrow. The city says it needs about three for the convention. Eyewitness News anchor Kathy Brock and Ben Bradley are both headed to Cleveland for the convention. Look for their live reports beginning tonight on Eyewitness News at 10. Turkey's president called it an act of treason. Several questions remain now in a nation filled with tension after an attempted military coup. ABC's Jennifer Eccleston has more on the demand this morning and the connection that failed coup may have to a community here in the U.S. They took over state TV and in France. Police arrested two people as the investigation into the deadly attack continues. So far, seven to be identified. People fed up with violence on Chicago's south side took action this weekend to make their neighborhoods safer. People to help prevent violence. This morning, the TSA needs your help to find a missing dog. The explosive detection. Hurry, sail in soon. New this morning, with the second half of baseball season barely underway, league bosses are telling team managers to cool it when it comes to arguing balls and strikes and warning them to stop using video replays to bolster their arguments. And then, as you've all heard this week, the Pokemon Go app has really kind of taken off and taken over. But one mom came up with a game just for mothers. Have you played it yet? I have not, but it's brilliant. <laughs> I can get on board with this. She calls it Chardonnay Go, where you find glasses of wine all over your neighborhood. Have a look. And it's really included. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Still ahead, the risks that come with reverse mortgages. Consumer Reports. IKEA announces a recall for 80,000 baby gates. Experts say the gates can unlock refunds. Also new this morning, Tesla is now working to improve its autopilot system. The feature has been at the of security. Many people realize they've not saved enough for retirement.
investment and believe a reverse mortgage might be a possible fix. But borrowing against the equity in your home for retirement may not be a good idea. It can be. Reverse mortgages, though, have a history of problems, despite recent changes. Seven Eyewitness News. If you or a loved one is considering a reverse mortgage, we put the fight. Today's Daily Herald, Jamie Sutton, the author of that article from the Daily Herald, is here to tell us more. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Liz. Okay, well, with Rio facing all of these problems, Zika high among them, sludgy water that we are seeing, what kind of alternative would Chicago and Chicago Land have offered? That's a great question. You know, Rio, I mean, the world's watching the struggles they're having right now. But I think that in Chicago, um, a lot of there's a lot of mixed feelings about whether it would have been a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, I talked to a lot of people in the suburbs about this, and their reaction was either like, this is awesome, this would be so awesome to see the games here, to have them in our backyard, to have Chicago in the worldwide, worldwide spotlight, and, um, you know, maybe rent out my place for a month on Airbnb, make some money. Um, but then there were a lot of people that's kind of near Gurney Mills, and there would have been some shooting events down in Aurora. Um, now, in Lake County alone, they were estimating they'd get 45 new of, uh, canoe and kayak area, area near Northerly Island. There would have been a new BMX track in Douglas Park. Just some really great things that would have benefited the city. But again, there's you just wouldn't know what else was going to calm down. Especially at the world we live in right now. Absolutely. All right, Jamie, thank you so much. People can read your full story today with Ben Bradley. He's on his way there. He's on his way to Cleveland with Kathy Brock. That's why I'm here, Tanya Babich, and for Ben Bradley. And I'm Liz Nagy in for Stacey Bucca. Let's get right to that first alert for News reporter Laura Podesta is. She's actually live at Comer Children's Hospital with more. Laura. Well, this is where the 16-year-old is recovering from a gunshot wound to his left leg. And we are just hearing from eyewitnesses that that 16-year-old was seen limping from the scene and screaming, they shot my brother, they shot my brother. So it does look like these two victims are brothers. Let's hear from you. Reporting live from Comer Children's Hospital, Laura Podesta, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And more breaking news overnight, Laura. Three men are... Now say they were targeting a suspected gun house when officers opened fire. It happened around This morning, we're waiting for the victims to be identified in a deadly crash in north suburban Fox Lake. Two men hinted presidential ticket. Presumptive nominee Donald Trump officially introduced his running mate, Indiana Governor Mike Pence. Now they're ready to claim the party's nomination. ABC's Stephanie Ramos says more from Cleveland. Good morning. What a week it will be. The city of Cleveland hosting the Republican National Convention where at least 60 speakers will take the stage teeing up the GOP tickets. National Convention. Police are preparing for any scenario creating a massive security zone around the convention. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, Cleveland. And a live in Cleveland with the latest on some pretty astounding new poll numbers. John, what can you tell us? Really astounding thing in this poll is that a large majority of American voters say they are simply... That is now hours away. So heading into this convention, what can you tell us? What is the mood there in Cleveland, and what can we expect this week? Well, the law for ABC in Cleveland this morning. Thank you for being with us. And don't forget to join ABC's George Stephanie Brock and Ben Bradley in Cleveland starting tonight on Eyewitness News at 10 o'clock. The NW